Hi guys, so today we're gonna do a French lesson. I know it's been a long time, so let's jump right into this. So today we're gonna talk about les adjectifs. This is not really gonna be a real proper lesson because adjectives in French are really hard because there are no real rules most of the time, lots of exceptions, and it's more about feeling the language, as in feeling if this sounds right or not, than just learning. However, there are some little tips and tricks that I'm going to give you in this video to help you. So first of all, adjectives in French are fundamentally different from adjectives in English because we do take in consideration the fact that there are some feminine objects and some masculine objects and plural and singular. So adjectives will either be fem feminine or masculine or plural or singular. Is it right? There are different ways to form feminine. First of all, we just add an E at the end of the adjective. So as you probably already know, in French, 99.9% .9 of the time we do not pronounce the final letter in words. For example, show, show, which means warm or hot. You don't pronounce the D at the end. But if you want to say une tasse, should, in tasse chaud, which means a hot mug or a hot cup, um, you're gonna add an e at the end of show and you're gonna pronounce chaud instead of show, obviously. It's the same for petit, which means little. If you want to say a little boy, you will say un petit garçon. You don't pronounce the t at the end, however, if you want to say in, a little girl, you will say une petite. It's the same for other consonants. For example, let's take an S, mauvais, which means bad, is mauvais at the masculine. However, if you want to say uh, mauvais at the feminine, it's going to be mauvaise, mauvaise. So you add an E and you pronounce the S at the end. Another way to form adjective is to transform them with double consonants. For example, bon, bon, which means good will become bon. So you still add an e at the end, you also add another n, so it becomes bon. Gros, which means big, yay, <laughs> becomes gros, gros. Once again, double consonant, right? If the adjective ends with et or er, you're gonna add an e at the end as well, but you're also gonna add an accent to the e before the last e, <laughs> if that makes any sense. For example, secret, secret, which means secret, becomes secret, secret. Dernier, which means last, dernier, becomes dernière, dernière. And cher, cher, which means expensive, becomes cher, cher. If the adjective ends with e, u, -O, which sounds like er, for example, joueur, joueur, which means playful, you drop the R and you just put SE, joueuse. It's the same for rieur, rieur, which would be laughing. You will drop the R as well and it becomes rieuse, rieuse. If the adjective ends with a F, like vif, which would be in a kind of like, it depends, it has different meanings. It could be witty, it could be quick, or sportif, sportif, which would be in one into sports. <laughs> it becomes at the feminine VE. Vive, sportive, nocif, nocif, which would mean harmful in, in English, becomes nocive, nocive. So F becomes VE. There are some adjectives like merveilleux, which means marvelous, or heureux, which means happy, which end with an X. If you want to make a feminine out of this adjective, you just drop the X and add S E. There are also some very commonly used irregular adjectives, like for example, beau, beau, which means beautiful, becomes belle, belle. Faux, which means wrong, becomes fausse. Vieux, which means old, becomes vieille, vieille. Nouveau, which means new, nouveau, becomes nouvelle. Novel. Forming the plural is much easier. Just add an S and if there's already an X, you just don't change anything. So the plural is easy. The other tricky thing is to know where you should place the adjective, whether before or after the noun. Most of the time, the adjective in French is after the noun. However, there are some cases quite many, in which the adjective is before the noun. For example, 
un joli tableau. Un joli tableau. You would never say un tableau joli. Why? I don't know. It is just the way it is. The adjective that indicate a color will always or most likely always go after the noun. The adjectives which are very long with something like three syllables will go after the noun as well. There are some adjectives which 90% of the time go before the noun and I'm just gonna put them here so that you can have a look. That's basically just it for adjective. I said it's a bit of a tricky lesson but I hope you enjoy watching this video and I will talk to you soon guys. Bye!